Hey, what's up, guys? I want to let you know that Hubsco, the company that I have my folding e-bike with, is having an early Black Friday sale. You get e-bikes from a thousand bucks, and you can buy two e-bikes to save fourteen hundred dollars. So I wanted to tell you a little bit about it. I ride this thing constantly. I'm always using it to roll around my property and do security checks, just to make sure nothing crazy is going on on the parcel. And then also in the morning time, Sierra and I, when we get up uh, first thing, I'll grab it and we'll go for our little morning walk. And one of the things that I love the most about this e-bike is that I can pack it up and take it camping with me. Now we haven't been out camping much as of late just because Sierra and I have had a lot to do around the property here but folding this thing up and throwing it in the back of my truck is literally no issue at all once you get to camp just take the bike out of the back of the truck it only takes about 20 seconds to set up and I've literally got a 40 mile range around me now with this e-bike this is the last week for the early Black Friday sale. It ends on the 31st. As you can see here, you've got e-bikes from $99.99, and you can also get $1,400 off on bundles of e-bikes. So you go to the website, just click on you know the early Black Friday sale, and you'll see all the different bundles that are available. I mean, pretty much it seems like most of their bikes are for sale or you know have some sort of discount available right now which is fantastic so the one that i have i've got the it's called the the hubs co beta it's the foldable e-bike that one right there the 20 inch fat tire bike i, I chose to go with purple i love that e-bike man I, I literally ride it all the time and it comes in a real easy uh, uh put together package it's pretty much already assembled you just have to basically put the tires on and do a few extra things and uh the bike itself looks real sharp real well balanced and really easy to ride the sale is going to go on for one more week. This is really good deals. These e-bikes are an absolute blast to ride around. I love it for the fact that it doesn't cost me anything. All I do is charge it up with solar, and then I don't have to pay for gas like I do with my quad. And you see a ton more wildlife because it's quiet, you know. And cruising around that thing is such a blast. Visit hubsco.com for more information and pick yourself up an e-bike or two. And use Brian at checkout for an extra 100 bucks off. And thanks to Hubsco for sending me this bike. I absolutely love this thing. It's so much fun. I know you'll love it too. So get yourself one today. Take advantage of the Black Friday sale. And uh, you'll be all set. Hey, what's up, everyone? Thanks for tuning in. Hope you had a great weekend. Wanted to provide a quick update with Sierra and regarding her cancer. She's still doing great. We went into town the other day for the farmer's market, and she just had a blast. She was like running around, talking to everybody, and you know, being her little social self, which just makes me feel like absolute gold. And it looks like she's feeling a lot better. I mean, she's she's got a lot more energy these days. So I think the recent changes to her diet have really helped out and just seems like she's just really bouncing off the walls these days. Uh, myself, I end up getting a little bit of handmade soap at the farmer's market and then a few baked goods and some more coffee from our local roaster, AO Coffee Company, which has great coffee. I'm really glad that there's a local roaster here in town. Kind of hoping to open off coffee shops soon. <laughs> but uh, over to my property, things are going really well here. You know, it's been two years since I really started working on the place and made a lot of progress, done everything by hand. So all the stuff that you see here, all the improvements and the road clearing and all that stuff, the, the, the property was 100% just a forest when I got it. And so I've had to do quite a bit of work to clear the land. And then, you know, this year I focused more on getting the garden area dialed in and clearing that space. And then also the camper cover, which has worked out really well. I love that camper cover. It's, it dramatically reduced my energy use this summer with not being in the sun full time. But coming into my property here, this is the driveway that comes into it. So this was two years ago, and here's what it looks like today. So if you see on the left, you got little stones that line line the uh, roadway when you come into it. And then around here, uh, what I did was actually it was pretty tight with the trees and um, and coming into like where my camper is going to be, which would actually be up here on the left. And it, I hadn't put it there yet. Now I've got it cleared out to where there's actually a spot right here. So if somebody's visiting, they can park there, or if they're truck camping or you know vehicle camping, they can just they can just pull right there and take advantage of my Starlink and be able to tap into it that I have over here at the um, you know at at the camper. But this whole area here uh, is what I've really focused on cleaning up the ground. You know, it was basically removing a bunch of like scrub brush and a few trees and um, just getting the area all dialed in. So here's going down the road. I want to pause here for a second and point out on the left is where the garden area will be, so keep that in mind. And this whole road, I mean, I, I kind of took the le path of least resistance, but there was still a lot to clear, and I built it all by hand. And so if you recall all the work that I did, you know, it was just, it was, I kind of worked myself into the, into the ground by doing this. But it's turned out looking really good. It looks like a legit trail. It doesn't look like, you know, anybody came or cut it with a blade. So I love how it's turned out. And I've still got a little bit more work to do on it just to fill in a few more spots that need soil. But overall, it's it's working great. So here's what it looks like today. That's that little camper or the uh, area on the left that was all just trees and everything. Now it's all cleared out. 
and I'm putting in more garden beds here soon. So really like this the way this uh, fence turned out too, using the natural materials. I think that looks great. Then moving on down to where the truck camping area is, it, you know, if you go straight ahead there, that's where the ATV trail will be eventually. And it shows there that I just started cutting it. But this was like about a year and a half ago, I think this footage was. And so here's what it looks like today. If you go straight, then it continues on with the ATV trail. And it's a, it's a full-size trail. You can drive your you know, and truck on it and stuff. And then here's coming down into the truck camping site. Now, this, this is the site where I lived at for like... Me and Sierra, when we first got the property, we were here for like eight months before we got the camper and then pulled up to the section where it's in now. And it used to look like this. It was real tight. The trees were, um, you know, it was really tight, like the camping area behind it. The trees weren't pruned yet. But I've gone through now, and it's much better down there. So just wide, more wide open. Um, you know, I took some of the, the lower branches and cut all those off. And that way it opened it up and so camping in here is real nice you just pull in uh, you can just try camp right here on this pad where i'm walking right now and then at the end of it here there's just a little fire pit so if people want to have a fire and hang out you know you can enjoy the sunset or the nice quiet mornings out here the trail i made that connects the upper section to the lower section of my property and then also out to the road was a ton of work it just it was so much debris that i had to remove and that's what i spent the majority of my time on in the spring and then I, in the lower meadow, I had to cut back some trees just so I could get my truck through here because it was just a little bit too tight for a full-size vehicle or, or mid-size truck. But now this is what it looks like. It's plenty wide. You can drive a vehicle through here, no problem. My neighbor, Darren, that comes over all the time, he, he actually loves driving this trail. He's like, man, that's a great little trail you made there because it goes through a little creek area and it's kind of like you got to have your 4x4 four four on in order to get through it. And here's coming down the other way. You can kind of see how it's opened up and it's much easier to, to drive through there. Now, coming back up to the right next to my camper where the, the garden area is, I wanted to kind of explain my thought process here. Now, these are the garden beds. Those are obviously going to stay. I'm going to remove a lot of the cactus that's here on the ground. Over on this left-hand side, this is what I've been clearing until my little uh, trimming tool that I was using the motor on it finally gave out and it was all smoking and everything. So kind of put it through the ringer. But I want to put uh, uh, eventually a bathhouse right here. And in the meantime, I'm going to make a shower that's just going to be a standalone shower, but I'll eventually build a bathhouse there. And then there's also going to be a few more garden beds that I'm going to put in on this side, probably at least three more. And that way I can give a lot more strawberries and, and other stuff. For the cowboy cabin here, I've been going back and forth about what to do. And I actually have decided that I'm going to keep this back portion here, but the front part, I'm going to dismantle it. And the reason being is it needs to be wider. You know, when you when you take a, a quad and park it in here, there's not much room on either side to have like a workbench or anything. And so I'm actually going to double the size of that and make it d double wide and then have like a nice workbench in there. So that way if I need to work on stuff, you know, I can, I've got the room to do it. And then also want to clear out the rest of the underbrush here in the little garden area. And then finishing up my fence before winter sets in, just to make it to where the cows don't come into the garden area is going to be nice. I've got these pieces laid out to tie it into that tree right there. And I really love the way the look the look of this fence turned out. I didn't think it was going to look this cool, but I think it looks fantastic. And those shaggy juniper branches make for really great uh, fence posts. I am really fortunate in that I've got a large number of smaller pinion pine trees. And a lot of them were being crowded out by... Uh, juniper trees that were taking up all the sun these two in particular if you look behind you you can see that little tree post that I've got that I've got cut off there I'm pointing at it right there um, that was blocking out all the sun and there was actually another little tree over there too that was making it to where the entire uh, east side of those trees had no branches on them forever and also the top of this area I've thinned this out a little bit so there's more sun coming through throughout the day so if you can see now things are starting to fill in and it's really, really come around. I'm using all of my gray water from laundry to make sure I water these consistently. And it's really come to life. And so I've started to dig out more of the uh, base areas around all the uh, uh, pinion pine trees on the ridge of my property here. And what I want to do is just continue nurturing these so that they grow, grow up real healthy, provide nice shade. And then I, I much prefer the look of the pine tree compared to the juniper tree. And so the goal is just continue nurturing these and make these into like little garden areas where I'm going to also put Northern Arizona native uh, tall grass seed. I've not had a, a, like a legit warm shower or hot shower facility since 2015. 
when I hit the road. And so I picked up this old IBC tote. It just needs to be cleaned out a little bit, but I'm gonna make this into a shower stall. And I'm gonna use my hot water on demand little Camp Lux thing to work it. So I'm gonna cut out a front door here and then go ahead and cut off the roof, just kind of um, keep that plastic thing and raise it up and have that be the roof of the shower. Just have some posts holding it up and everything like that. And then have a door on the front to where you can come in and out of it. So the rest of my day is gonna be spent getting this all cleaned up and getting everything squared away. And then hopefully by this evening, I'll be having a hot shower, which would be real nice. So thanks for tuning in. We're gonna go ahead and have the Patreon shout out here. Here's some sh drone shots of my place just at sunset. It's real pretty out here. And uh, thank you, everybody, for tuning in. We'll see you in the next video.